When survivors of a meteor strike are forced to leave their bunker after 10 years, they face off with an army of cannibal mutants. In a search for sanctuary, they find themselves trapped in a western themed town full of thirsty town folk and part time mutants. What is that? They're, they're people? With high enough doses of radiation, they should all be dead. Looking pretty dead now. Fortunately, they're saved by Ashanti, who plays a badass preacher searching for human survivors and a chance to duet. My soul for that calm day. Where's Ja Rule when you need him? There's a lot of wisdom to be had in the post-apocalypse, especially from someone who's been safe in a bunker for 10 years. Van Slamage Clothesline. You can't be hard all the time. <laughs> I beg to differ. Now for the top three signature moves. Top three signature moves. First, it's the Missy Hospitality. So every time you put one down, it's a mercy. They're trapped in asylum with us. Here's my hospitality, head of day. What? Was he waiting for a cue? Second is the makeout weapon. She must have learned medicine from Marvin Gaye. And finally, the Royal Crush. Come to a very dangerous place, little girl. No, 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 no. Live well. Biggest WT moment ever. Other WT moments include the reveal of a certain someone surviving the meteor strike for 10 years and for some reason never attempting to contact the people in the bunker when he knows full well they have cameras that monitor everything that's going on outside. <laughs> what the f Van slamming sequel bitch. Having lived in Haven for 10 years, another meteor strike occurs, creating even more dangerous mutants, led by Ja Rule. Missy and company are rescued by an even more badass preacher, Jack Van Slam, who leads them to a safer haven in Canada, but it's actually filmed in Pennsylvania. I call it Mutant Nation. Stay harder. Mutant World was an oddly entertaining mess, full of really bad dialogue, confusing situations, and a bunch of random shit that made no sense. Open fire! <laughs> On the Van Slamage meter, I give it three and a half out of five masks. If there ever was a movie full of WT f moments, it's this one. Thanks for joining me for Jack Van Slam vs. Mutant World. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. Feel free to comment on what your favorite moments were and what you'd like to see slammeranged. Gotta stay hard.